Welcome to Light Body Wisdom with internationally known Light Body Whisperer, Grace Home. She will make you laugh and yawn as you release lifetimes of trauma and begin to feel much lighter. Your divine gifts may be activated, allowing you to weave light into the fabric of the world. Are you ready to be your own light and shine? For more information about Grace, visit gracegehome.com. That's gracegehome.com. Yeah, so something about that ability of yours to hold sacred space and allow things to come through. I mean, it's beyond authentic. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty darn powerful. And I've been able to feel it whenever it's your interview. With some others, I don't feel so much. They, they feel up the talk with talk, <laughs> but you feel up the space with energy and, and your talk matters too but it's more the space of you, the energy of you is palpably, authentically you through and through, you know? And then the talk is just icing on the cake, but the space you create, you know, that is something that is so magical. How did you come to be so magical? Do you know? No, I wasn't taught how to do this, whatever you're expressing. <laughs> and thank you for expressing it that way. You don't I, want to hear how I, to usually, I usually don't get that level of feedback, but thank you. Because I, I don't know, it just seems, everything just feels normal to me in a way. And so when people say, what well, did you feel that? And I go, well, not necessarily, but. Um, yeah, in the testimonials, I, I've heard from many people besides myself, where like in your presence, whenever you speak, wherever you are, it's not just what you say, not when you start the activations, but even before everything, the energy, the vibe, everything is starting to shift. You have a way of knowing how to be the space. You know, I love this quote by Rami, wherever I am, be the soul of that space. Mm. And I think that captures your work, who you are, that wherever you are, you are the soul of that space. Wow. I never heard that one. I like that one. Can you email me that? Yes, I can email you that. Yeah. 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 Uh, so going back to your question, um, I am starting a, a mentorship program, but it's going to be very different than what you guys might be used to, at least seeing it advertised. But anyway, I'm officially starting, I officially started yesterday with a client. And so publicly, I will announce it here that, so I, I will be available for this unique kind of uh, mentoring program. And my, my wish my intention is to share everything that I know how to do in a matter of speaking. That includes like, okay, how do you hold this space? Well, somehow I believe it can be transferable and it can be taught, although I was never taught that. But I also have to say that we work with a team always. Okay. So it's not just me here, obviously, right? The team is here. I always call in the team before I do any kind of healing work or before I meditate every time. Mm. Sometimes I'll do that as I go to sleep as well. Mm. So basically what I can offer people is uh, how to stay in present time with whatever you're doing, because that's when the power is, that's when the power comes through. As you know, Grace, right? If you're in the present moment, then everything can channel through you as you. I think that that's really how, how I kind of work too. Like I used to be really anal and have a notebook and have my list and look at it. Did I cover this? Did I cover that? And mm -hmm. I gave myself, um, I gave myself problems. <laughs> I can't get out of my own way. I, I couldn't get out of my own way for the longest time. Yeah. And it was only a few years ago that I was able to let go of this modality, what I learned from this and that, and 
just be like, God is already talking to me. What the heck am I doing listening to other people and settling for bagels when I <laughs> yeah. do this work? When um, guidance already comes through so easily. Yeah. So I what I learned early on, folks, this should help you guys in some way, is that, um, and I tell people this, you're not going to know unless you do it. And if you fall down and trip, it's okay, because you're going to get back up again. But you're not going to know if you're a clear and perfect channel until you start doing it and getting feedback from people. If you sit in the closet and wonder, well, I'm not going to do this till I'm perfect, you'll be in the closet for a long time. Mm. So I'm a big fan of practice. <laughs> practice. Whatever you want to perfect, practice it. Don't be afraid. See, a lot of people are afraid of, of what are they going to say? What are my colleagues going to say? Well, I can't say that at work. They'll think I'm like lunatic, crazy. But you're not going to know until you do it. Right? Who knows? You could change somebody's life at work. Whereas before you thought, well, I can't share that with that person. That person's not going to relate. That could be your own projection. But you won't know until you do it, right? In fact, I'll tell you a little secret. This is, nobody taught me this, but I, I can get... Little kids, okay, we're talking like six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I can get these kids to talk about anything and to share anything with me that they would not dare share with their parents. I just have this knack of being able to do that with kids. Wow. And you taught school, didn't you? Yeah, briefly. Yeah, for a couple of years, I taught preschool. Yeah, I must. Professionally, I'm a certified uh, K through six and preschool teacher. But um, that's why you guys, that's why I do a lot of inner child work. So I'm using my academic training in early childhood. I transfer that from that field over into this field and we work with the inner child. Mm. Not in a specific way, but see, I learned early on in college that you can transfer the skills in one discipline to another if you believe that you can do it. Most people can't do that. Ah. Can they, can you guys transfer your healing skills into your relationships? Oh, dear God. The word relationship <laughs> just knock everybody off. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Words that are like worse than the F word with everybody here. One is an actual F word, family, and the other is relationship. <laughs> Those two words, this is like you're triggering them. We all need healing now because you're triggering yeah. them. Those words. <laughs> we need some bagels. Okay, well, let's order in some bagels. And, I, and I've always kind of known that you, you can use humor as a way to help teach what you're teaching and to help other people receive. Because we are definitely too serious, especially now with the lockdown and everything. Oh, my God. Try to crack a joke in public during the lockdown. That's a little bit more challenging, but it can be done. Oh my God, it's, yeah, Colorado is just going crazy here, Denver. We just up another level of uh, whatever. Safety. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We just went up to level three a uh, couple days ago because of the many more cases. Yeah. So here's an offering, you guys, for your group, my group. Oh, by the way, Greece, you reached your uh, Zoom limit of 100. So you're going to get a lot of emails say, I couldn't get on the call tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I have people emailing me with all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so better save, save labor time. Just send out a, a short email to your list. Okay. And just say the reason why you couldn't get on the call is because uh, I'm on pro Zoom and can only have 100. Yeah, I invited someone who is just too popular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But anyway, getting back to uh, what were we talking about? Um, oh, refresh my memory. See, I lost it. That was like 30 seconds ago and I already lost it. Well, 30 seconds ago, you were talking about humor and, uh, oh, and COVID-19. Yeah, yeah. And then now, but we're going to do... Oh, so I got I to gotta, I gotta do a little honoring of Red Skelton. Okay. And I feel a little guilty because when I heard he was going to die, I, I wanted to send him a letter to thank him for being on television when I grew up because I watched him every Sunday night. And he was like inspiration for me, his humor and his ability to change from one character to another was very impressive. But so I'm going to honor him now. But uh, he inspired me with my funniness, I guess. Because I would watch him and I go, he's making this stuff up on the spot. He's like channeling this humor. Oh, so that's channeling, just be present to what shows up. Yeah. On the spot. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you guys want to be, be in the present moment and that'll happen. Yeah. And healing, Grace, as you know, healing occurs when you're in present time, when you're in the present moment, not thinking about what's happening with the healing and all that. It took me so long to get out of my way, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, I, I had to overcome my my level of, of self-doubt, self-doubt. Like, uh, am I good enough? Because I would see these other people out there in the world, in the field, and they were like very successful, billionaires, millionaires, have tons of fans and followers. I don't want that. But... I would see that and I go, how did they do that? How did they get to this place of where like they're watched by literally billions of people when they do an event like online and stuff and go, wow. I mean, I still go kind of wow, but then I go, oh, one, they had a good marketing team. And two, their website probably expresses the essence of who they are and what they have to offer. Wow. Market. Marketing team is key. That's why we have that market called marketing team, marketing promotions. Yeah. So I've come across a couple that I think are very cool in this area. So if any of you need some marketing help, website help, content help, graphics, I can refer you to them. Because I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't see it as competition. I don't see Grace as competition. I see Grace as part of my tribe, as a, a collaborator, like an affiliate, you might say. I, I never see anybody as competition. So I'm, I've always been willing to share my knowledge of like resources. In fact, I probably could have had a business as a resource company, right? You send me money and I'll send you resources. I'll send you links on where to find what you're needing. Yeah, you you are a natural connector, and and you like yeah. to help people. You're very natural yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of competition, we are going to have a competition. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, in a couple of weeks, right? Because we want to support. You know, seeing what's going on in the world right now, we want to support all of you. So, in a couple of weeks on a Sunday, we're going to join together to um, do some activations and clearings that, um, that will be helpful for all of you and move you all into the next space. And uh, 5D and beyond, right? 5D, 5D and beyond. beyond, yeah. So yeah, just in uh, November, I think it was uh, hey. Yeah, November 8th, that's that's coming up soon because mm -hmm. we chose November 8th because, you know, it's a little, a few days after, you know, election day here. And it's before 11-11. And it's before 11-11. And 
it's, it would just be fun for us to spend time together where um, we will just tune into the group and be very present to what is going on with all of you and see where you all need to be because I know uh, many of you are healers in waiting. Well, after November 8th, the waiting is done. <laughs> You'll be healers in service. We like that. And receiving monetary return. No bagels, people. Monetary no, return. <laughs> no, no more vows, right? No more vows. <laughs> yeah, so that that is going to be fun. And who knows, maybe for 2021, we'll be doing more fun things together because I, I think it would be fun to have a couple people to just be doing activations that allow everyone to feel like we are tuned into, we're, we're tuned into different aspects of people. So, you know, what we do is similar, but not so similar that, you know, we cancel each other out or anything like that, right? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's cancel each other out on the event. We'll just cancel each other out so we both disappear at the same time. <laughs> Undo everything he just did. <laughs> hey, Grace, let's take some questions or sharings. You want to do that? Yes. Oh, my God. I've been talking forever. Look, my time is 555. I guess it's time for shifts and changes. And I love to know what you all would like for us to do for you. That would really change your world besides getting you to be a healer in service rather than be a healer in waiting. I think that's a given. But actually, I want to hear one more thing from you because at this yeah. time, many, many people are, are talking about money struggles and, and how you overcome all that is astounding what you have overcome. When I, I Grace, I can't tell you how I did it. it. It's like a miracle. So I'll just give you the nutshell of it. So okay. 2000, I had a house fire in which my dad and I could have perished, perished in the house fire. An archangel woke me up. Seriously, an archangel woke me up and got me to go into the living room to see that the house was on fire. I got my dad out. We had lost power in the house. It was like 1.30 in the morning on a Sunday. It was cold outside and it was the year 2000, January 17th, I think. I go running out of the house with me see. I don't even, have, I don't even think I had my shoes on. I had my uh, jeans and a t-shirt, I think. Anyway, my only thought was wake somebody up in the neighborhood and call the fire department. There was only one house with the lights on the whole block. So I knock on the door, scare the crap out of this black couple. I said, house is on fire, please call 911. So they did. They came out in six minutes, but it felt like an hour but it was like six minutes. The chief, they put out the fire. It wasn't a big fire, but he said, the chief said, he said, if we hadn't got there when we did, your house could have imploded, like exploded, if we hadn't gotten there when we did, like maybe you had another two minutes. Now, I don't know how he figured that out, but I went, wow, really? So anyway, okay. Life saved that way. So house fire, 2000. Four months later, I go homeless and I'm in a little bit of post-traumatic stress from the fire, believe it or not. Um, I went up to Mount Shasta after I got put up by friends and strangers for six months because I was homeless. I couldn't work because I had this post-traumatic stress. I couldn't do my practice. I had no place to do it and I had very little money. 
So I went to Mount Shasta to either live or die. And I was serious. Okay, I'm either going to make it in Mount Shasta or I'm going to die on the mount. But I'm not going to die in the Bay Area where all these people and traffic and noise are. So I went up there. At the last moment, I got a place to rent, but I started going to death. So fast forward to 2004, my dad dies. I take care of his affairs. Um, I'm in credit card debt at that point, maybe $20,000. And I continue to go into credit card debt up until 2008, I think. But anyway, here's a miracle. So I take care of his affairs. Uh, he left some money for my brother and I. He had this stock, this oil stock of this unknown company in Idaho. Like who would want to buy stock in this? Nobody knows this company, right? It's like, and he buys it for something like um, 10 cents a share. And he has 10,000 shares, I think. And I get the first statement because I had to take over his affairs. I get all his mail and stuff. And he had something like $500 worth of useless oil stock. And I go, well, I'll just leave him there. And I'll sign up to get the monthly statements. So the next statement, it goes up to 700. And then it goes up to 900. And then it goes up to something like 1100 and then 1500. And I go, this stock is just keep going up. I should definitely not take any money out. Guess what it goes up to? It goes up to $30,000. And then I got guidance, okay, pull it out. So I pulled most of the money out. I should have just pulled everything out, trusted my guidance, but I left a little bit of money thinking, well, it might still go up a little bit. No, after that day, it started going down, 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 and down. So I got basically almost $30,000 for free from my dad. He had passed. I was in debt. So that helped me another two years, maybe, of, of living without having to go homeless. And I tell people this story. How can a stock go up from 500 to 30,000? Like that never happened. So that can happen to you. You think your dad was looking out for you from the other side? Yeah. Yeah. Nice dad. <laughs> he saved my butt many times. I could have been homeless many times. Um, so anyway, fast forward. I go on a credit card debt a lot, like I said. And I did a credit card um, negotiation where I paid basically 40% of what I owed to the banks. But then all that went on my credit report and go, okay, that's going to mess that up. But I need to get out of debt. So I get out of debt, but then I get more into debt <laughs> with credit cards until finally I do bankruptcy in 2010 towards 2011. I give up my car. And of course I gave up all my debt. And I was very grateful to the system for allowing people to create bankruptcy and get out of debt. And, uh, and by the way, I gotta mention, I never thought I would be in debt. Never in my mind where I thought I would ever be in debt, let alone go homeless. But here's the other thing about homeless. About four months <coughs> before <coughs> the house fire, I began thinking, or these thoughts would come about being homeless. And I'm thinking, where are those thoughts coming from? Right? I was staying with my parents at the time in their house in the Bay Area. So these thoughts would come in like going homeless. And I would dismiss it. Because I didn't think they were my thoughts. Why would I think, you know, going homeless? Unless, of course, I was tuning into what was going to happen, right, in the future. But anyway, so I create bankruptcy. And I have no credit cards now and no money. How am I going to make it? But starting in 2007, this guy calls me up out of the blue. How he got my phone number, I don't know. He says, uh, can you teach what you do? I just found your website, which wasn't very good. And he says, uh, well, yeah, I can. And he says, how would you like to come to Taos, New Mexico? I go, okay. So I paid for my, my way there. And we did some intros and some personal sessions. And that got me started to where I am now. This guy out of the blue, he doesn't know me. 
but he found me and he calls me up on the telephone. And eventually he invites me over there. So I made about three trips to Taos, which led me to Santa Fe, which then led me to Canada and all these other cities in America. So I did the teaching tour, teaching the work until about 2014, towards the end. But up until 2011, I go, God, what am I going to do? So again, another miracle, right? So you never know, somebody could call you up out of the blue, go, hey. <laughs> and then you say yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, this sounds so much like you're operating from a, a certain, according to human design, there's mm -hmm. different energy types. Mm -hmm. And you seem to have that energy type of the projector. Where, I am. I am. Oh, I guess right. <laughs> <laughs> you guess right. I'm intuitive about that too. <laughs> I'm worth my bagels, damn it. <laughs> That's right. You'll get six now next time. Yeah. And here's the thing with projectors, not that it's set in stone, you guys, because you don't want to ever have any system set you in stone. But I was told by um, when I had my readings, forget the phone, it's probably a telemarketer. Well, let's just let it ring once. Hmm. that I have to wait for the invitation. Mm. So I still do. I wait for an invitation. So Grace invited me to come on the call. That's an invitation. As opposed to trying to do something on my own, to create something on my own, because apparently mm. projectors are not good at that. <laughs> Manifesting yeah. generators are, right? But I'm not a generator in that sense. So yeah, I'm a manifesting generator. So ah, well, that's good. Then we work good together, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because I thought, oh my gosh, but you're a natural human connector. That's a good thing. You know how to just connect people. You know, and I didn't ask, but you you already told me, Michael does this, blah blah blah, and this, yeah. So. I, I can see how you are really doing so well as uh, a projector because your energy, the energy of a projector is so special. Like mm. they reflect back to you the truth. Oh, yeah, I know I do that or the energy does that. Yes, I've been aware of that for a while. And it's so natural for you that you don't even know it. But that, that is such a gift too. Like all human projectors, you guys are such a gift to the world. So don't worry if you're not the type who can be a manifester because projectors have a very a very important place in the big scheme of things. Mm -hmm. You reflect back to people what they need to see. Like now you reflect back to me that I'm worth six bagels. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, <it's, laughs> I'm just upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> Grace got her upgrade. And, and that really feels right. You know, that my favorite quote from Vami, what I was telling you earlier, that wherever you are, you are the soul of that space. And that is like the essence of you so much. Because like, like I said, no matter what call you've been on, you've never been the type of person who went salesy. You know, you're mm. just you and you just share what you have to share. And yeah answer the questions and you do the activations and whether you consciously do the activations or not, the feel is already activated by your presence. And, and that's magical and, and a pretty rare gift. Well, I never thought of it that way. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And I think that everybody here thinks that of you too, but I see somebody has been raising their hands for a while Sun shower rose. I'm going to lower your hand and you can. Uh, another Sedona type. <laughs> Sun shower rose. You're on. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, uh, okay. I, I want to send you money and get that great marketing team. I want the money. Give me the money. I don't want the bagels. <laughs> Thank you. So, 
How about if we all together, because this is about giving and receiving at the same time, mm -hmm. a lost teachings of Yeshua, giving and receiving as one. So how about we all together right now on the call and those that are going to listen on replay, especially those that couldn't get on the call today because they're number 101, a little humor there. How about we hold the space of miracles for everybody else that's on this call that had signed up for this call and at the same time you just be open to receiving the miracle whatever it is so if i can experience a miracle so can you if i can go from this much in credit card debt to this place with patience of course and i'll give you another thing i i get clients where they're desperate i mean they're like a week away from homelessness and everything else. So we do what we can with the activation and I don't hear from them for like maybe six months or so. Now, mind you, when we had the uh, personal session, they were in desperation mode, right? So six months later, I find out, hey, they're doing fine. And what I always wanna ask these people, well, how did you ship? What happened? To where you are in this place right now and sometimes you know i get the opportunity to ask that question and they and they share back sometimes i don't but it's amazing how people can go from this place to this place when were there in this place they they were completely hopeless like no hope and so we generally would say okay just leave it up to god just surrender everything up because you can't do anymore just surrender everything up let it go and trust. Thank you for shining your light and weaving grace into the fabric of the world. For more on my work, please visit gracegham.com or lightbodywisdom.com. Thank you and namaste.